Welcome to the vast sun-drenched savannas of Africa. Out here under the endless sky, life is a constant adventure. You've got lions, elephants, and giraffes, all incredible animals. But I want to introduce you to a real superstar, a true feathered marvel that struts across these grasslands with incredible confidence. This isn't just any bird, this is the secretary bird. It's a creature so unique, so powerful, that it commands respect from everything that slithers and crawls. Imagine a bird that looks like a supermodel but hunts like a ninja warrior. That's the secretary bird for you, a true icon of the African wilderness, and one of my absolute favorite animals to talk about. Now when you first see a secretary bird you might not know what to think. It doesn't soar high in the sky like an eagle or perch quietly in a tree like an owl. Instead it walks. That's right, it spends most of its day on the ground, striding through the tall grasses on a mission. This bird is a hunter, a predator, and its territory is the wide open plains. It can cover more than 20 miles a day on foot, searching for its next meal. It's a relentless patroller of the savanna, a guardian keeping the balance in this dynamic ecosystem. Its presence tells you that you are in a wild, healthy, and thriving environment. The name Secretary Bird is pretty cool, and there are a couple of stories about where it came from. One popular idea is that the long black feathers sticking out from the back of its head look like the quill pens that old-fashioned secretaries used to tuck behind their ears. Another theory suggests the name comes from an Arabic phrase soccer et tar, which means hunter bird. Either way you look at it, the name fits perfectly. This bird is both elegant and deadly a beautiful creature with a serious job to do. It's a walking, talking piece of natural history, a living legend right here on the plains. So, let's get ready to dive into the world of this amazing bird of prey. We're going to explore what makes it so special, from its incredible looks to its jaw-dropping hunting skills. We'll learn about its family life and why it's so important for the health of the entire savanna ecosystem. The story of the secretary bird is a tale of survival, power, and surprising grace. It's a reminder that nature's most fascinating creatures are sometimes the ones walking right here on the ground with us. Join me as we get to know the one and only secretary bird, the killer queen of the savanna. Let's take a closer look at this incredible animal. The secretary bird is a big bird standing almost four feet tall. That's taller than many kids. Most of its height comes from its long, crane-like legs, which are powerful and built for walking long distances. Its body is mostly gray, with black feathers on its wings and thighs that look like it's wearing a pair of biker shorts. But the real showstopper is its face. It has bright orange or red skin around its eyes, which gives it a very intense and focused look. And those eyes are sharp, capable of spotting a tiny lizard or a snake hiding in the grass from far away but the most famous feature has to be its crest of long black feathers. These feathers give the bird its name and its signature look. When the bird is calm, the feathers lie flat against its head, but when it gets excited or feels threatened, those feathers stand straight up, creating a dramatic and intimidating display. It's like a built-in warning system. To top it all off, it has a strong, hooked beak, just like an eagle or a hawk. This beak is perfect for tearing into its food after a successful hunt. Every part of this bird, from its long legs to its sharp beak, is perfectly designed for its life on the ground. Unlike most other birds of prey that rely on flight to hunt, the secretary bird is a terrestrial hunter. Its long legs aren't just for show, they are its primary weapons. These legs are covered in thick scales that act like armor, protecting the bird from the venomous bites of the snakes it loves to hunt. Think of it as wearing a pair of tough, scaly boots every single day. This protection gives the bird the confidence to take on some of Africa's most dangerous serpents. It can stride through thorny bushes and rocky terrain without a single worry, always focused on the hunt. Even though it spends most of its time walking, don't be fooled, the secretary bird can fly, and it's an impressive sight. When it takes to the air, its massive wingspan which can be over 6 feet wide allows it to soar gracefully over the savanna. It usually flies to get to its nest high up in an acacia tree or to escape from danger, but its heart and its lifestyle are firmly on the ground. It is a master of its domain, a bird that has traded the skies for the earth and has become one of the most specialized and successful predators in all of Africa. Its unique body is a testament to the power of evolution. Now for the really exciting part, how the secretary bird hunts. This is where it earns its reputation as a killer queen. 
While it will eat almost anything it can catch, insects, lizards, rodents, and other small animals, it is most famous for being a professional snake hunter. When a secretary bird spots a snake, its entire demeanor changes. It becomes focused, calculated, and incredibly fast. It doesn't dive from the sky like an eagle, instead, it approaches its prey on foot, using its wings like a matador's cape, flapping them to confuse and distract the snake. It's a brilliant strategy that makes it a formidable opponent. The real action happens with its feet. The secretary bird attacks with a series of powerful, lightning-fast stomps. It will kick and stomp on the snake's head and body with incredible force. Scientists have measured the force of these kicks, and a single stomp can deliver a blow that is five times the bird's own body weight. That's powerful enough to break a snake's spine or crush its skull in an instant. This stomping method is a safe and effective way to kill venomous snakes like cobras and puff adders without getting bitten. It's a deadly dance and the secretary bird is the undisputed champion. This hunting technique is not just brute force, it's pure skill. The bird has to be incredibly precise, aiming its stomps at the snake's most vulnerable spots while dodging its defensive strikes. If the snake tries to bite, the bird can leap back with amazing agility or use its wings as a shield. It's a high-stakes battle of speed and strategy. Once the snake is stunned or killed, the secretary bird will often toss it into the air and swallow it whole, head first. It's a wild and dramatic behavior to witness, showcasing the raw power of nature right here on the savanna floor. What makes the secretary bird so special is that it fills a unique role among birds of prey. While eagles and hawks rule the skies, the secretary bird has conquered the ground. It has evolved a hunting style that is perfectly suited for the open grasslands where it can outmaneuver its earthbound prey. This specialization makes it one of the most efficient predators in its habitat. It's a brilliant example of how animals adapt to their environment, developing incredible skills to not just survive but to thrive. The secretary bird isn't just a hunter, it's a highly skilled martial artist of the animal kingdom. Secretary birds are not just fierce hunters, they also have a fascinating family life. These birds are monogamous, which means they find a partner and often stay with them for life. This strong bond is, you know, essential for raising their young in the challenging environment of the savanna. The courtship between a pair is a beautiful sight. They perform incredible aerial displays, soaring high into the sky together, and then diving towards the ground. On the ground they'll chase each other with their wings spread wide, showing off their grace and strength. It's a romantic dance that solidifies their lifelong partnership. When it's time to start a family, the pair works together to build a massive nest. They choose a sturdy, flat-topped acacia tree which gives them a great view of their territory and keeps their chicks safe from ground predators like jackals. The nest itself is huge, sometimes up to 8 feet wide. It's a messy-looking but very strong platform made of sticks, twigs, leaves and even animal dung. The same pair will often return to the same nest year after year, adding more materials each time. This nest becomes their family home, a safe haven high above the savanna. The female usually lays one to three chalky white eggs. Both the mother and father take turns incubating them which can last for about 45 days. Teamwork is everything. While one parent sits on the eggs, the other is out hunting for food. Once the chicks hatch, they are completely helpless. They are covered in fluffy white down and rely entirely on their parents for food and protection. The parents will bring back food, regurgitating it directly into the chicks' mouths. It's a full-time job and both parents are constantly busy hunting and guarding their precious young from danger. The young birds grow quickly, but they stay in the nest for about three months. During this time, their parents teach them everything they need to know. They bring back small, stunned prey for the chicks to practice their own stomping skills on. It's like a training ground right in the nest. Eventually the young birds will be strong enough to leave the nest and start exploring the world on foot, following their parents and learning how to hunt for themselves. This dedicated parenting ensures that the next generation of secretary birds is ready to take on the challenges of the savanna. Secretary birds are much more than just fascinating creatures, they are vital to the health of their environment. By hunting snakes, rodents and large insects, they act as a natural form of pest control. They help keep the populations of these animals in check, which maintains a healthy balance in the ecosystem. For example, by preying on venomous snakes, they make the grasslands a little safer for other animals, and even for people who live nearby. 
In many parts of Africa, farmers welcome the sight of a secretary bird in their fields because they know it's a free, all-natural exterminator, protecting their crops and livestock. This important role has earned the secretary bird a special place in African culture. It is seen as a symbol of strength, courage, and protection. In Sudan and South Africa, the secretary bird is so highly respected that it is featured on their national coats of arms. It represents the nation's power and its commitment to triumphing over its enemies, just as the bird triumphs over the dangerous snake. In many local stories and legends, the bird is portrayed as a noble and wise creature, a guardian of the people and the land. This cultural significance highlights the deep connection between people and wildlife in Africa. Sadly, despite their power and cultural importance, secretary birds are facing serious threats today. Their populations are declining across the continent, and they are now listed as an endangered species. The biggest problem they face is habitat loss. As human populations grow, the vast, open grasslands they need for hunting are being converted into farms, cities, and settlements. This means less space for them to find food and raise their families. They also face dangers from collisions with power lines, fences, and vehicles, as well as disturbance of their nesting sites. So, why should we care about protecting these incredible birds? Because saving the secretary bird means saving an entire ecosystem. When we protect their habitat, we also protect the countless other species that share the grasslands with them. Protecting these top predators is a sign that the environment is healthy and thriving. We can help by supporting conservation organizations that work to preserve African grasslands and educate local communities about the importance of living in harmony with wildlife. The future of the killer queen of the savanna depends on us. We have a responsibility to ensure that this magnificent bird continues to stride across the African plains for generations to come.